Today I am checking out a brand new mod made by a YouTuber called Chewy Shoot and a bunch of other people called Post Fidem. This mod explores a history in which the Punic Wars were won by Carthage and thus the Roman Empire never formed. As a result by 1444 the world looks like this. Very different. Punic is the kind of amalgamation uh, of the Carthaginian faith and how it has developed over the years. So all of these nations are basically in this sphere of influence of Carthage, which once extended all the way up into Gaul, but has now fallen from glory and there's not much left of it. Rome still exists, but they are just a small state, not an empire. Uh, they are, however, part of something called the Italian Federation, which is basically the HRE of this game. So it's just uh, all over here. Uh, they are the Grand Adirim, or the Emperor. I'm just going to call it Emperor, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we have things like Gaul. Uh, very interesting. They are Druidic. Uh, there's Germanics. There's Norse. Uh, I believe there's even a Vinland in the New World. Might give them a go at some point. Then there is the Egypt. Um, and I did even see that there is some Kemetic left, which is interesting. There are some Christians. They uh, are probably a quite the challenging nation to play. And then these, yeah, these are all Tengri hordes and stuff. Uh, we do have the Remova also. Interesting. Wonder how many unique mechanics they have. Very interesting. But uh, today I am playing as Italia. And Italia is not Punic. It is Romana. So it's an actual like kind of heir of the actual Roman gods uh, or religion. So uh, we're going to try to uh, bring back the actual Roman uh, culture and try to uh, bring about a late Roman Empire. How about that? So we can choose a bonus to start with. I've already had a look at this. I think to begin with, uh, it's going to have to be either missionary strength or st stability cost. Uh, I think I'm going for stability cost. Just to start out with, because we're not going to be conquering so much early on. Now, the Lombards are friendly to me, but I'm thinking, should I just kill them? I do have a mission tree and also a mission about Lombardia. Uh, I just need to ally them and then I get 50, 25 dip for every plus 50 of Lombardia's opinion of me. Okay. So I guess we're just going to ally them. Anyone else who wants to be my friend? Uh, let's do the estates first. Okay, so supremacy over the crown. Standard. They're already loyal. Uh, for the burgers, we'll just do a free enterprise. Okay, I do want the admin points because we have a mission around admin points. Do we'll enforce unity of faith and probably religious culture. Uh, that means we don't get to take any of the other monarch points yet, but I'm at peace with that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna do religious culture. That will allow us to convert stuff a bit quicker. So let's start converting. Then rivals. Who has rivaled us? Illyria. Big country over here. Let's rival them back. Then. Tyrol. Oh, they're definitely a juicy target. And Southernwield. Southernwield. They're over there. A Germ Ost-Germanic nation. Tyrol is actually Romana, so we want their land for sure. Let's start spying on them immediately. Let's reduce army maintenance, uh, get in a admin advisor, national tax, and maybe a diplo advisor for improved relations. So we can get this mission with Lombardia done sooner. On the 11th, we want to send a new, or 12th. Oh, yeah, there we go. New diplomat there to improve relations. And we forgot to seize land, so let's do that now. Then... I kind of want some private trade fleets as well. So let's go find that. Yep. Very good. They reworked the trade as well. So we now have one end node in Carthage and another in Italia. And the English Channel is no more. No English Channel end node. So I wonder how that works uh, if you go uh, play as the Celts over here and colonize because then you're kind of just screwed you need to take over Gaul basically to secure your income over here and you also need to take over whatever this node is called Victoria Victonia 
Yeah, so basically you need to invade here in order to keep your money safe in this node. Otherwise it's going to get stolen, or at least significant chunks of it. So I wonder how balanced that's, uh, that is in multiplayer. But Iceland is already making felt hats in 1445. Illyria has insulted us with a very Roman insult. Furthermore, I believe Midlanum must be destroyed. Which, if you don't know, you bunch of history nerds, then there used to be a Roman senator at some point uh, that really thought Carthage had to be destroyed, and he would end all of his speeches in the Senate by saying, and furthermore, I believe Carthago should be destroyed. Eventually, he got his wish, of course. Ooh. Oh, uh, new great projects. That's nice. Producing cloth in Carthage. Great projects. What do we have? Oh, we have something as well. And I bet it's not a church. We have the Ides Jovis uh, Temple, uh, temple of uh, Juno, I think. Right? Um, local tax, local dev cost in the region. That's pretty good. Global modifier, uh, Diplo Rep. That's good if we want to um, go the diplomatic route and try to become emperor. But I don't think we are eligible because we are the wrong religion. Yeah. Only Punic rulers are eligible to become Adirim. Do you have any allies still? Yes, Modena. Okay. I want more troops. Two more should do for now. Ooh, our heir is strict. He's also just generally better. So let's make our current ruler into a general immediately. And assign him to the army. He is actually not so bad of a general for this early in the game. Ostholm, wherever they are, wants to be our ally. It looks like they are a bunch of Germanics, but they do seem pretty large. So I will actually accept that alliance. Just don't call me into any wars. Also, is there still gold being produced in Tyrol yeah, or in uh, Intel? Yeah. So we want to go after that as well, for sure. All right, it's time to um, fabricate a claim on Tyrol. There we go. Now we will take that guy back. And we will increase our maintenance. We'll split this army in two. I actually want two more in this army. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Okay, burger loans. Burger loans. Let's take some burger loans. Indebted to the Zarimello. Okay, yeah, fine. It's fine. They're small loans. Uh, we'll stop them. And uh, we'll just keep the loans for the war. A request for knowledge sharing. Oh, do they not have institutions? Feudalism. Oh my god. Oh, that must be horrible. Let's get one more general. Hey, three shock. Very nice. You didn't get any new allies, did you? Is independence is guaranteed by Ostholm, our ally. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? It does look like we also have some new advisors. We get army drill gain. Stuff like that. So what if I attack uh, Modena instead? You're not a free city or anything, right? No, you're a Ducatus. Okay, then we, we will have to build a new spy network on Modena instead. We also need a military advisor and we need two estates to have 60 influence. Then we get an event called the Council of Medlanum. And this mission tree is basically focused on... Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. Becoming em Imperator of Italia and uh, also uh, destroying Carthage. So, Lombardia, tell us about the Gallic Menace, where among possible options they went with request entry as part of the Federation. So, they are trying to join the Italic Federation because they're not a part of it yet. And I don't mind at all if they join. So, I'm going to go and uh, tell them that. Um, accept these brothers into our alliance. Uh, do not let, they don't have to agree to our religion at all. That would be bad. In fact, I hope I get to 200 before um, they actually join. Because if they switch religion, that's not going to help. 
Oh, we have the Tyrol mission. So let's click that. Uh, the Lombard mission, I mean. They are still Romana as well, so that's great. Uh, so we should be getting 100 Diplo here. Boom, yeah. And we get improved relations plus 25% for X amount of years. Let's get that guy back. I need to get one estate more influence. Let's give these guys increased levies. And let's give them perhaps just the right of council or so. Then I need to hire one military advisor. Let's do land maintenance for now. And now I can complete the Council of Medlanum. Okay. Today, representatives of the seven most important cities in Italia met in our glorious capital for a much needed meeting. Chaos had gripped the country and to many it seemed that the world had turned upside down since their last meeting. The delegations sat in the conference hall of the Palace of the Kings for hours until finally an agreement was reached. Within those hallowed halls, many men had called for the Rex to reissue the Bergam degrees, a set of policies and guarantees issued after the previous mission that set out Romana supremacy and independence. But many contended that it was these decrees that led to the Grand Adirim invading in 1444. Others implored the Rex to, uh, to abolish the degrees and focus on repairing the country and stabilizing our diplomatic reputation so that we might be able to avoid another costly war. What did the Rex decide? We are going to reaffirm the Bergam degrees, uh, which is going to give us one stability and yearly prestige plus one until the end of the Age of Discovery, for sure. So apparently, Italia was only recently uh, conquered and uh, integrated as part of the Italian League. So it makes sense that we would be uh, not so happy with that. Rome, yeah, they like us, but fuck them. I don't like them. We are the true Rome. So yeah, now I think we can start paying for our troops. We can put them all together here because their army moved off of the border. Lombardia's opinion of me increased. Looks like they are still Romana. Gaul is fighting a war. Being all expansionist-like. They are quite likely, I think, to end up on the British Isles. Or the Celtic Isles. Whatever you want to call them. Um, it looks like we have... Oh, a bunch of permanent claims. I think we'll wait with clicking this uh, for a little bit. Ah, uh, no. We'll just do it now. Whatever. Okay, so we got that mission. We have a lot of claims around here now. Uh, which means we can basically just stop doing that. But we still need a claim on Modena. 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 Because we're going to declare war. And I think Modena is also a trade center, right? Oh, no. It's Ferrara. Huh. Mutina. Well, that's okay. We can just uh, take it anyway. Punicum, declare war on their enemy. Cartamal, who is Punicum? Punicum is Provence. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's a stack wipe. Uh, they have a level one fort only, so let's leave behind four damaged regiments. Like so, and go after these guys who have a five fire one shock general, so that's not so bad actually. Yeah, run. You better run. Just, uh, actually, it's kind of annoying that you ran. Okay, we're just gonna set our entire army on top of this fort and hope they just refuse to attack. Alright, that's one siege done. So what if I vassalize you? 47.5. Oof. And what if I don't vassalize you, but I take those two and I humiliate you? 32.6. That might be better. My only real goal is to get to uh, Intal here. And I get so many events, it costs me money. Yearly Prestige is very nice, though. 
it's for so long, tax modifier. No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, we won the Siege of Mutina. You still don't want to surrender. Let's get our whole army here. And go get him. Yeah, we should win that. Okay. There we go. Now they have no choice but to accept, I think. Yep. So let's take your money as well. Good. How bad is our aggressive expansion, really? Not so bad at all. Ah, Modena doesn't like us. But it's not as bad as I would have thought. Okay, uh, we're just gonna full annex and take the money. There we go. I think we're just going to consolidate all regiments. That's fine. Just put them all over here. Let's have them drill until they are fully reinforced. And let's make some cores. Scratch that. Um, the, these two for now. We're going to concentrate development first. And then we are going to make some cores. Okay, we now have 72 thingy. So that's good. That means we get an extra admin point from... Huh, okay. We can probably get to 12 thingies. 12 admin point generation. Which will allow us to get rid of this annoying modifier. So the only thing we need to do is hire this level 2 guy. It's going to be expensive. And I think it's worth doing. And then focus admin. And then we can expel the Scarlet Delegation. Italia has had a long and troubled history with the Federation. Due to our staunch Romana faith and our refusal to introduce the Punic rights to our court or capital, many outside of the north of the Federation have long distrusted us, and even our close neighbors are continuously plotting our downfall. As such, every move we make must be carefully planned so that we do not greatly upset the uh, so that we do not so greatly upset the Adirim that it sparks yet another war against us. In 1443, the forces of the Grand Adirim, Adirim and his allies, known as the Grand Alliance, invaded Italia and sacked our once glorious capital of Milan. Shouldn't that be, uh... Medlanum? Instead of Milan? Okay, well, whatever. They captured and executed the previous king, Avilion, purportedly for the crime that led to the war in the first place trumped up charges of restricting the freedom of the merchants of Serenza on the Po River. In his place, they installed Ugyo II, but only on the condition that he accept the oversight and ultimate power of the Scarlet Delegation, a group of Punic nobles sent to live in our court to keep an eye on things in the Adirim's stead. These nobles have been nothing but trouble, and everyone in the kingdom has been longing for the day that they will leave. So basically, it's a group of nobles from Rome and other parts of the Punic Italian Federation that are kind of babysitting us. And now we're kicking them out. Hell yeah. Let's uh, pick a new rival. I want uh, whatever this country is. Middenwield. Serenza. Yeah, that's a good one. I definitely want that land. And now let's um, fire this guy again. Now we have to wait until the 6th of November. Get, kick him out. And get our tax guy back. I just interrupted myself in the middle of my sentence and I don't know what I was saying, but I assume it was about this demand unlawful territory from Roma, which we are going to decline. It would be very nice to pick up Genoa, the province. Put us at war with Liguria and Lecco. Where is Lecco? Oh, that's right up there. That would be nice to have too. Uh, Liguria is down here. So that's also nice to have, but uh, we need to wait a little bit, of course. We do have uh, a bit of aggressive expansion. Uh, we have some lazy diplomats, so let's have them 
improve relations with various countries. Uh, let's see. Uh, outraged countries, too. Let's put two of them on that. And then in the meantime, I will start fabricating a claim here. Our allied with Franconia, who are also Germanic. Oh, there's two types of Germanic. Yeah, so there's Germanic and Ost-Germanic. Okay, interesting. And then Slavic is huge still as well. Tengri is gigantic. Look at that name placement. That's all the way uh, to Kamchatka here. We can take uh, admin tech. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll give it some production efficiency as well. Lombardia is calling us in against Cartamal. Uh, which I will accept. Because that's not a very difficult war, it seems like. I will enter your lands and loot them. Uh, religious tension. I don't know what that is. But I do want money. Um, once we can pay off all of our loans, I will do it. Oh, that's nice. 50% national tax modifier. Let's send one regiment over here to help these four fools siege. And yes, I will put my king on there because I want him dead. Oh yeah, let's have a look at our national ideas, by the way. I didn't do that yet. But we start out with a fantastic land leader shock plus one and advisor cost minus ten. Uh, we get some missionary strength and tolerance of the true faith. Uh, get goods produced. Very good. Siege ability. Good. Institution spread. Meh. Army tradition and land fire damage. Very good. Yearly corruption and all estates loyalty. Mid. Mid. Infantry combat ability. Very good. 10% and then as ambition prestige per development from missionary meh big meh let's look what goals ambitions are national tax and a diplomat not great what does Rome have improve relations and a diplomatic relation okay Carthage global trade power and morale of navies okay that's pretty good Macedonia diplomatic reputation and culture conversion cost mm. this nation the norse nation land force limit and naval maintenance Celtica. global trade power and morale of armies not bad it looks like we just mur murdered the thing okay. which means we can go loot this other province very good uh with only 10k though because attrition ah, there we go good they have taken land they couldn't take this uh, one province because we had it occupied of course but we did get some money from that which i appreciate let's reduce maintenance again and pay off all of these loans there we go let's build a spy network here it looks like we have a new Emperor or Adirim or whatever it is. Nova Moria. And then we have Sardinia, Isle, uh, who are refusing to stop being pirates. I think uh, these guys start out as pirates and they get an event to possibly join the Italian Federation, which they are not a part of. But in exchange, they would have to stop, you know, being pirates. Uh, but in this case they refused, which I think is very wise. I would have done the same thing. Oh, ho, ho, it's a pirate's life for me. Hey, technology. It's diplotech time. We are a bit behind on military technology, which is... Eh, not great. But then almost no one seems to have it around us. Well, Rome has it. So do these guys and these guys. But our next target doesn't. Mid and mild. Oh, they are at war with Alemannia. Which is this country over here. With a very good, stupidly good ruler. Wow. So I think we basically go to war immediately because we want this gold province before anyone else takes it. Um, yeah, so I think we raise maintenance. Uh, we make this claim. 
which should only cost 20 because it's outside of the thing. Good. And then we just declare war. And I think we call in Ferrara. And we call in Lombardia uh, a bit later. Uh, but let's first make sure we have our thing like that. And uh, yeah, they also want it. So maybe we don't call in Lombardia. Let's wait one month. Oh, there. That's annoying. Let's wait until their army moves. No, let's not. Uh, let's wait more months. Indecisive, indecisive. Uh, we can state this in the meantime. And we can uh, reduce autonomy. That's nice. It should increase our force limit and income. Okay, let's declare war with Ferrara. We have no diplomat to send. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Oh, boom. Very good. No, we just need like this. Ah, fuck! I do want my general to go though, because he has a siege pip. I'm so messy today. Being a big clums. Oom. I demand a decision to release Oom. I'll lose the 100 dip. Ostholm is declaring more on Tyrol. It's fine. Hey, government reform. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to do noble officer corps. Roma has rivaled us. Renaissance has appeared in our capital. We need 15% trade power in the Ligurian Sea, which is uh, Genoa, I believe, or Italia. Uh, we can uh, arrange something like that, I believe. Oh no, our king is dead. I care so much. Uh, let's buy up to one stability, it's fine. Our admin generation is pretty good. Uh, yep. Let's take Miltec. Hey, that's annoying. And because we were almost done with that siege, and now it's part of... Alemania. Do we have any diplo relations? Because I'm tempted to just uh, vassalize these guys. Right here. We can do some reconquest action. They have a lot of claims as well. Of course, I will take the gold province for myself. And I will have to uh, force my religion upon them. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're also at war with Franconia. Let's get our troops all together. We're going to loot this entire province dry. And we're going to stack wipe their army. And then we're going to sit on their capital until they're willing to pay us. Okay, let's go. Boom, that's their army gone. Hey, Franconia. How's about you give me uh, some war reps and money? Hey, thank you. Also, that's the last siege. Let's build a church in Medlanum. Let's take Intal. Let's make them our vassal. And let's take all their money. Unfortunately, most of the money will go to... Uh, Ferrara right here. But to be fair, they've kind of earned it. They did all the work of the siege. So, yeah, let's do that. You are my new vassal. And I'm going to... Oh. I can't enforce religion quite yet. Uh, but very soon I will do that. Uh, let's make you into a core and reduce your autonomy immediately. That should severely increase my... Uh, my income here. Why am I only getting 0.76? Devastation. Uh, goods produced efficiency. Intolerance. Yeah, we do need to do some uh, conversions there and stuff. You. Improve relation. The midden wield is Italian from now on. Personal union on monarch death. 
Aha. How old is our ruler? He's only 27, and he's strict. I'm sure he'll find a wife at some point. Okay, so, so far we have consolidated this area. We have conquered Modena. Uh, we have conquered into the Alps and taken the gold mine of Intel. There's a lot of unrest over there, but uh, we'll just murder anyone that tries to complain. Um, let's see how we progress our mission tree. We need to have chosen what to do with Isabel Garandine, which, uh, I don't know. We need to consolidate North Italia. Whoa. We have some special government mechanics. That's crazy. We gain 0.5 every month, but we only have 11. Ah, uh, well, it resets when the ruler dies, okay. Uh, we can pay 15 ducats, it's fine. So we can get manpower. We can get minus aggressive expansion with every neighboring country. Wow, that's really powerful. Or we can just get flat money. But it does cost monarch points, which I'm not a big fan of. Looks like we can seize land again. And everyone is loyal, so let's do that. Uh, also, yeah, I forgot that we need to do that trade stuff. We only have 5%, so I think the only realistic way of achieving that is through conquest. And uh, we do have to conquer anyway. Uh, what if we go belligerent Liguria? We could take these two countries probably in one war. What if we go belligerent Lekko? Okay, Lekko we, uh, we don't have a claim on. Uh, we do. What? The hell? Student wield. So why does Lekko get so much help? It's a free city. Yeah, I expected as much. Well, I'll probably just leave him alive until this entire empire thing is no longer a thing. Um, I should probably decide who to vote for next, by the way. I'm apparently backing Illyria. That's not so great. Uh, yeah, I am an elector. Um, Sardinia, Nervinaria, Salerno, Theogonia. Roma. I cannot back myself. You know what? I'm going to back... Parma. <laughs> because they're right next to me. And then uh, I can kill them. Swag. Let's build another church. An offer of knowledge sharing from Ferrara. And I'm going to decline. Renaissance is already spreading. We're not in a hurry here. Uh, we could take admin tech now, but I'm going to wait until we embrace the renaissance. Hey, oh, it's annoying that we don't have the extra monarch point anymore. So let's find Illyria over here. And let's send them a nice little insult, shall we? Scornful insult for 10 power projection. Very good. In Italia, Illyria is a word synonymous with manure. A church. Or a marketplace. Let's play the marketplace first. In Medlanum. You know what I think I'll also do is expand infrastructure in our capital. That's quite nice. We'll also make it cheaper to upgrade this baby here. It looks like Carthage has indeed taken over all of Fezzan. It looks like Egyptus is doing just fine. They're at war with Arabia. Syria, uh, I think, has defeated the Christians over here. Seleucia is a thing. Interesting. Kashubia is uh, growing steadily, and so is Saxony. Very nice. Sweden, just chilling. Norland, just chilling. Norway, just chilling. But they, these guys, Nordavik, not chilling. They are absolutely beating the shit out of everyone on this island. Rome, just chilling mostly. Uh, they did have their first idea group. Oh my god, liberty ideas. There are more idea groups. So there's one extra idea group per category so there's firepower which is uh well, the name says it all it's all focused on firepower on artillery sieging things like that really powerful idea group especially in the late game then there's assimilation missionary strength global settler increase aggressive expansion impact diplomatic annexation cost and vassal acceptance institutions spread and Embracement cost, governing capacity, and expand administration. War score cost. Liberty ideas is national unrest. Great project upgrade cost. Oh, that's pretty good. Admin efficiency. 
good. Max promote of cultures. Global monthly devastation and global prosperity growth. Construction time and death cost. Morale of armies. Damn. There must be some interesting policies with these as well. I'm very interested in trying out firepower ideas, that's for sure. Kind of want a fort in Modena. There's nice hills over there. Parma might be better. Nah. Uh, Modena and later Genoa. Or maybe Albium. And then Ivrea. Those could be good forts. All right. Let's build another temple. Okay, we have an heir. Uh, we will not name him Hannibal. Uh, Atticus seems fine. Uh, we're currently called Endrio. Maximus. Geminus. Gaius. Gaius. A nice Roman name. Decent name. A proper name. Let's develop... Um, intel a little bit to get rid of the devastation. Mm, yep. Let's do that. It should massively increase my income. Yeah, almost a full ducat. Just not because uh, the production went up by one, but not only because of that, but also because the devastation went away, most of it. Carthage has expanded to the west as well. Very nice. Number three world power they are. Only just below Macedonia. And then there's the Ming, of course. Who doesn't really count. So really, we have the number one... Number one... Oh, sorry. Yeah, number one, two, and three world powers right here. How is our aggressive expansion looking? We are basically down to zero again. Except with the two people we want to completely take out. So I think it's about time we do that. No, yeah. I think we will need a bigger army, though. Um, will our allies help us? Yes, they all will. So that's that's pre-war. Look how crazily we outnumbered them. Uh, no, not Leko. Liguria. And Cartamal. You as well, yeah. So we'll take this and these three. Hopefully in one war. Um, let's build a couple extra troops before we declare. Like... Go up to 20. Okay, Mr. Genoa. Actually, I'll stack wipe these three first. That's much easier. Much easier. Uh, Mr. Genoa. And Mr. Liguria. And Mr. Cartamal. I would like to kill you. I'm going to take all my friends with me. And I'm going to declare war on you right now. Then I'm going to stack wipe Cartamal. Instantly. Say fucking what? 10 years of land maintenance plus 25%. Alright, I guess it's time for burger loans again. There you go. Let's go. Loan size is a bit bigger than it was before. Okay. We pay. Oh, that's not good. That was a little bit silly of me. Um, sure. You lose more money. Obviously. And now we go stand watch over here. <laughs> That's a carpet siege if I've ever seen one. Oh, okay. Uh, whoever this guy is, Carthalis, is now our personal unit. Oh, over here. And their independence is supported by Illyria and Punicum. Which is... Uh, okay, whatever. Should be interesting. Let's improve relations with the personal union. Uh, okay, crazy. We just randomly got some land. That's nice. I will take it. Uh, everyone and their mother wants uh, to uh, get them independent. But I have a lot of allies, you know. Look at this Ostholm. You don't want to fuck with that. Uh, we can now embrace the Renaissance. So let's do that. 
And then we shall take this idea group. And then we shall take the most Roman of all admin idea groups. Infrastructure. Hell yeah. Get some state maintenance and prosperity growth. And pretty soon we'll have some construction costs. So we're not going to build anything until we get that. Oh no, our trade boat was destroyed. That kind of sucks. We have become a great power. Very nice. In uh, less than 20 years. Good. Uh, that's just because I got the Renaissance, right? Yeah, so we're almost uh, as developed as VJ. I mean, getting that random PU probably helped a bit. They are the wrong religion, though. Um, okay, we can also get Miltech 5. Uh, let's not switch unit types now, though, because then we'll get wrecked by uh, Genoa and Liguria here. Um... Uh, to be honest, I could expand my vassal, but I kind of just want money. So we're just going to take uh, all of that. And we return that guy. Very good. Oh, we're being attacked. Uh, not very successfully. Uh, why did you abandon that bloody siege? Okay, we'll do it ourselves. Oh, well, they're stack wiped, so that's good. Uh, we've won the Siege of Ivrea, so let's get our good general over here. Let's leave behind six troops. Because we need nine here, so you want ten. Ivrea, we will piece you out. Take all your monies. Very good. Make a core. Uh, we can change our unit type pretty safely now. So let's choose men at arms. Leko. Uh, I could take you, but uh, it will be a lot of aggressive expansion. And I want to take the trade centers instead. So I'll just tell you to give me everything. Except your land. Okay. Well, that war is pretty much over. So I guess these guys can go to my capital. And just drill. Excellent. 50 dip. That means I am now a 555 Chad tech nation. Although apparently there are more Chad people in the world. 655. What a Chad. We do have a lot of loans. 410 ducats in debt. But we're barely paying half a ducat, not even half a ducat in separate in uh, separatists in uh, interest, so it's fine. All right, that's Genoa. Now we just need to wait for that last little siege. We can, in the meantime, send these guys to drill as well. All right, and that's that. Um, so how big is our coalition if we take all of it? Okay, a bit too big, huh? Oh, actually, if we wait one month, we'll get another year tick of uh, aggressive expansion ticking down. Yeah, so now... Okay, we could consider waiting one more year, then Urbino, Roma, and possibly Bologna will leave. But we'll get a bunch of war exhaustion. You know what? I don't think I care. I'm going to uh, to go for it. I'm going to take these two provinces already. Uh, actually, what if we vassalize? Then we get 34.1. This way we get 60. We get 0.1 less <laughs> if we vassalize. Okay, so that's not really worth it. So what if we peace out Liguria only for now? All right. And then we're basically locking ourselves in. We have to do this now. But that's fine. We'll just take Liguria for now. Um, we will also wait with Goring because we can concentrate development. But we'll get more if we also have Genoa. More people are supporting the independence of our subject. 
Let's reduce maintenance to make money. A woman scorned. Isobal was just an ordinary girl living out her peaceful daily life in a small town on the outskirts of Medlanum. Everything changed when the soldiers arrived. While she did not know it at the time, her country was in a state of war and the forces of the Grand Adirim had invaded just days prior. The troops marched swiftly through the countryside, burning all the crops as they went. Isabel still remembers the sight of the huge plumes of smoke on the horizon, heralding the arrival of that devilish army. Though they claimed to be there for justice and to enforce peace in Italia, they quickly succumbed to the temptations of the mind and the body. She remembers one particular man, not much older than she is now, with a poorly groomed tuffy beard. He barged in through the front door, surprising her whole family, who were sitting happily around the dinner table. The man grabbed her father by his collar and tried to hold him up in the air, demanding that he give over all his riches in the name of the Grand Adirim. When her father did not answer him, the soldier poked his sword into his side and asked once more. At that moment, her mother and brother got up and started to inch back away from the man. But he chastised them and... Oh, there's some spelling mistakes in here. And ordered... and order them to come back. The last thing she saw was the sword piece her... Peace pierced her father's side and the torrent with one hour of blood that emerged. Roma de Lendaest. Okay. Okay, so she's basically like a Joan of Arc. Oh, wow. Okay. So we can get a really good re ruler here. But it will give us plus 10% aggressive expansion impact. So let's have a look at this. Rome is already not joining anymore. Uh, so I think we just do it. We take Genoa now. And then we do Isabel's right. We'll probably get a bit of a coalition. Everyone and their mothers is supporting the independence of this country. That might become a problem. Okay, now we concentrate development. We get 2226 dev in our capital. We do this. Then uh, we do Consolidate Northern Italia. Oh, okay. So that event triggers when you have 15 provinces, I guess. Okay, good. Um, we may well need this extra morale of armies very soon. Okay, that's very good. And now these things will give us shit. Okay, so now they're cheaper, basically. Oh, no. They don't cost Monarch Points. They never costed Monarch Points. They just cost the Vigor. Okay. Okay, there's the coalition. Making some risky moves here, but it's all right. Florence and Bologna have joined. They're all one province miners now. Pisa has joined. Provoke revolt here. We have our glorious Isobal, the inspiring leader. Gerudine. Still have the same heir. Hmm, maybe we want a new heir, no? Luca has joined. Okay. So, basically these countries down here all join. Oh, and we uh, can purchase an ability. It looks like they are the same as they were in vanilla. Although, it looks like the... Which makes sense. The, the special country ones per age are different. So, in this one we have Suebian shipyards. We have Saxon forests. And uh, we have Macedonian military academy. That's really strong. And Persian Diplomats, which is, uh, um, I think, for the gameplay that Persia has in this, uh, it's pretty good. So I would take aggressive expansion. Uh, probably still will. On the other hand, it's not very useful right now, is it? Our capital is farmlands, right? War taxes. I think I'll take war taxes, uh, which I will then also immediately turn on. Good. Because we are at war. Okay, we now have 11% trade power. Making a decent bit of money. Uh, we eclipsed someone, so let's do... Um, I think Gaul. What's the largest army? In the world right now. It's about 40. 41. So we can get up to like the... We can have a larger army than Egypt has right now. Although they have way more force limit of course. 
could upgrade our centers of trade as well if necessary to get to 15. Uh, I wonder how much time we have left for the estate goal. Until 1476. Okay. Let's take Miltec 6. Oh, what we can also do is turn on the trade edict in our capital, where it's relatively cheap to do. Cost 0.21 ducat. Increases our income by 0.6 ducat. We also are now at 14%. Ah! Man. Okay, we can seize land now. Let's do that. Bologna has left. We can do a government reform. Ritualized diplomacy. Representatives of the crown. I kind of want to try this one. It's the special one. Improve relations will make uh, aggressive expansion tick down faster. Yeah, sure. And the uh, cost of uh, hosting a feast will be halved, which I kind of want to try. Okay, we can take another idea. Expand infrastructure cost modifier. Nice. Uh, Gaius of Nova Moria is once again the Adirim. We can now venerate the gods. And we already have a church, right? Yeah. So we're going to get a cathedral there. That's very nice. The fate of the Punico. The Punico are the minority of Punic followers who live within our land. Uh, yeah, we simply cannot trust them, of course. We need Roman people. Oh no, we are losing great power st status. And Carthage just rivaled us. Gaul took over a significant portion of the British Isles, as I predicted earlier. Do they have marketplaces yet? Yeah. Pisa left the military coach. This place doesn't have a marketplace yet. We could do that. We could also just dev a bit. We have a skill 2. Oh, we just made it. 15%. Good. Let's get the skill 2 guy. The trade efficiency. Next month. Very nice. Now we are running full level 2 advisors in 1471. And still making a very decent amount of money. Faceting in Byzantium. A new consort appears. Sure. She is lowborn herself, technically. I think, by the way, we disinherit this guy. Not because he's bad, but because I would like to keep uh, the Isabel Garadine dynasty in charge. That just seems cool. She's a 5-5-6 five, five, now. Oof. So let's do that. Uh, we can also get the next Diplotech, which will give us trade efficiency, which will give us even more money. Um, we could get movement speed. And center of trade upgrade costs. I think what we do is we take one more idea. And then our next investments will be upgrading these two trade centers. And then we'll take the tech. And then by that time we'll start building workshops. We can build some pretty good ones. Oh, we need to insult the emperor. The Punic and Romana League. So that's going to be the league war. Oh my god. Suebi is going to be big. Oh my god. They're Jewish. Neca wrote. This is one of the nations uh, with a that's interesting to play on the start screen. So it's probably, so it probably has a mission tree. Would be an interesting game for sure. Jewish, Jewish Albania. Ah, the second Mantua rebellion. The cloth guilds of Mantua are extraordinarily powerful and often operate as their own sort of government, making deals with foreign powers to support their own interests. While they are nominally part of our realm, our ruler over that part of the country has always been patchy. I assume that it is meant to say rule. In 1410, the guilds launched an all-out rebellion against our rule in protest of our tariffs, declaring the city independent and trying to get support from the rest of the federation. Home of the Mantuan Clothiers. What modifier is that? That's only a good modifier. Yeah, 
Let's just crush the rebellion. But before we do that, we will wait a few months. Okay, that's good. They're gone. I think we sell titles to seize land. Very nice. Uh, I think we try holding a great feast now. A uh, modest feast. Must be suitably grand. The feast will last for one year and feature an assortment of average events. Okay. What was that mission with the Mantua guilds? We need to develop it a lot, right? Yeah. It needs to be 25 dev. Okay. That's quite, quite a bit of dev. And it needs... Okay, well, we'll take it for the, you know. And it needs a workshop, which we can get pretty soon. Ah, we didn't get the Diplo point. <laughs> we have a pleasant conversation. We gain another 10% chance of gaining the thing. Ah, no, sad. Ah, we're a zealot. Very nice, appropriate. Uh, we will not be taking infrastructure ideas today. How many pleasant conversations are we going to have? Oh, it's for, well, because of the feast problem, right? Uh, hell yeah. Ten army tradition. It decays really fast. And we, maybe we need to build another fort, huh? I was talking about some fort locations earlier. Like, uh, here is a good one. And here is a good one. So let's build those forts. Okay, we do eventually get the fucking uh, Diplo point. So that's great. 566 six ruler now. Alright, we can get um, the admin tech now. We don't have the money for a workshop yet though. The end of the feast. Uh, we gain a bunch of points and prestige. Okay, that's actually really good. Oh, we were too drunk, so we lose the points again. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting little event chain thingy. Bit of Crusader Kings uh, 3 vibes or 2. Price of copper changes because of Marrakesh. Ooh, very nice. Let's build it in Mantua first. And once we build up some points here, I will be uh, definitely developing that place. I will take the aggressive expansion impact now. That will certainly be useful in this area of the world. What is happening up there? Is that all Saxony? Is Saxony just going to unite Germany just like that? We could ally them. Ooh, we could ally them. You know what, Ferrara? You've been a good mate, but... We have Julianos. Julianus, our heir. And he's a Gerudin. He's not great, especially at Diplo, but... That's fine. We can use this thing. And get some manpower. Uh, we'll do that later. Send an insult. Yeah, you're idle anyway, because there's no outraged countries anymore. Send an insult to the Emperor. To get this mission, I think. Ah, uh, we'll click it later, actually. We give the... I may... Uh want to use it when I actually am going to fight a war and right now I have too much aggressive expansion to do that so we uh, are going to get rid of Ferrara dissolve this alliance this is and we're going to ally Saxony there is a sort of like Norse Dutch nation which is interesting might want to try them out as well. Wonder if they have a mission tree. Okay, so secure holy sites. We need three holy sites. Uh, that's gonna be a while. And that will give us prestige and manpower in true faith provinces for 30 years. This will give us permanent province governing cost and admin tech cost. That's really powerful. We need Comum at 20 dev to have a courthouse and we need at least 400 splendor or 70 prestige. And we need a historian advisor. What the fuck is a historian advisor? Architect, artist, bureaucrat. Okay. It's probably an administrative advisor, if I have to guess. 
Okay, I think it's time to dev Mantua. So we're gonna turn on the Encourage Development Edict here. We're going to do every single click once. Then we're going to expand infrastructure. And then we're gonna go poop, 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 poop. As much Diplo as possible. And we do that a couple more times. And there we are, 25. We can now click this button and we gain a textile manufacturing and two more base production. So this province is now going to like skyrocket our income. Especially production, let's have a look. Boom! That's almost uh, three ducats just in production. Of course, that also translates into our trade income. I I'm probably going to go for this country next. Defeat Serenza. Gain a bunch of stuff in Serenza. We're going to need a bigger fleet, though, to defeat theirs and uh, get onto the island. So we may need to work on that a bit. We have been building trade boats, mostly. Now, why don't I start selling my transports and make galleys instead? How about that? Uh, hey, Luca. How are you doing today? Would you like to sell uh, to buy a boat? Hey, there you go. Hey, Pisa. How are you doing today? Um, do you want to buy a boat? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Sienna. Would you like to buy a boat? Okay. Hey, Rome. Would you like to buy a boat? Nice. Okay, there you go. Hey, Naples. Would you like to buy a boat? How very generous of you. Hey, Punicum. Would you like to buy a boat? Oh, no. Cunia, maybe? Oh, yes, of course. Of course. There we go. That's a bunch of money. And now we'll just build, uh, like, six galleys. One, two, three. Four. Five, six. Good. Then we'll be up to ten galleys. I think that's probably more than they have. We have reached a new level of professionalism as well. Ah, we can finally convert Intal. Very nice. That will, uh explode our gold income because right now we get what is it minus 44 percent from intolerance uh, let's go pick up a different idea group first before we continue down the infrastructure line hmm, now they do have a lot of bloody allies don't they are we down for a big war I might be down for a big war. Um, let me make a new army. We'll do seven men at arms and three artillery. This will be our sieging army. Okay, admin tech. Let's go. Uh, what we'll do is we'll probably go offensive ideas. Yeah. What does quality plus infrastructure do? Yearly professionalism and army drill gain. But offensive gets um, movement speed, which we already have a bit of, so we can stack it. And artillery... Arti I can still talk, don't worry. Artillery levels against forts plus two available. And if we combine that later with firepower ideas, uh, I feel like that's going to be really, really, really powerful because then we get another artillery level against forts. We get even more siege ability. We also get siege ability from our national ideas. So I can see a nice little synergy going on there. So I'm going uh, offensive. Yeah, let's go. Okay, fine. The, the, the game really wants me to invite this guy. So I'll do it. 10% movement speed is fine. Now we have plus 20% movement speed. So no one's running away from us. Uh, let's call in Lombardia and Ostholm. We're fighting Illyria, Pescara, Molisum, Bologna and Rome. Can I cobblish in Bologna without anyone else joining? And Florence also joins. I kind of still want to do it. And I border Rome as well after that. Can I also cobblish in Florence? No, that's going to be real rough. Okay, I'll cobblish in Bologna, which means we're also fighting Florence. Wait, um, we'll go here first. Um, also, let's send all my galleys here before we start. Uh, we will also click this now. 
So that's another 10% morale of armies, which is really nice. Um, the next military tech is A, not that important, and B, very far away. So we're going to start going down the offensive tree. I should probably recruit a general now, because I have now have plus two land leader shock in total. So let's bloody go. Dun. Okay, let's uh, wipe you off the map first. You will fall out to siege. Oh, I captured some ships already. Very nice. Let's go repair. That's taking way longer than it should. Okay, Rome is here. Let's go stand on the hills. Oh, let's go return. Shift consolidate. Uh, let's see if we can get a better general. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 451, hell yeah. Bye bye, Rome. That is some uh, sick losses on their side. Okay. Carthage is now also supporting them. Jesus Christ. If Carthage declares on me, that might be a bit of an issue. Looks like my allies have everything under control in the north. How much AE do I have left with people? Because I can press this. Proclaim an era of peace while we're at war. Sure. And uh, let's also do this. And let's also do this. Because we can. Ah, the sack. Uh, we will pay the 94 ducats. And ga gain the professionalism. Um, okay, let's move on to Florence. We're going to uh, humiliate Rome. We are quite outgunned at sea. Nonetheless, I will go blockade this port. No, oh, there's a lot of ships right here. Well, that's fine. If they attack us, I'll just... Um, run. Okay, we're going in. Attacking them on the hills. Okay, it's a big battle, but we are winning. And uh, we're retreating again. To Bologna. Well... The Punic and Romana Leagues will be disabled right now. Malachi of Roma is once again... Rome is now the Emperor again. That's really bad. The Eupatine Conspiracy! The Grand Adderim was murdered. And the, the criminals, the murderers, are Romana freedom fighters. They claim to be striking back at the oppression faced by the Romana people in the Federation. Yeah! and could think of no better public statement of their discontent than the assassination of the Grand Adrian himself. Okay, there is also an incident in the Empire. Okay, so either I get embargoed for 20 years, or I will be forced to pay 5 years of my income, or I will do that. I could just leave. I will do that, and I will join the Romana League, which I cannot do right now because I'm at war. Oh. Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention, is it? Galleys, galleys everywhere. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, okay. And Florence, do you want a piece out? Nah, you're a free city. Um... I uh, just want your trade power and your money. And your war reps. Good. You are free. Which means your army is out of this war. I love how the leagues just started, but I'm already at war with the emperor. So I'm going to burn down the entire empire's... Uh, you know, everything. And then after that, I'm going to join the league. And do it again. Let's get the next idea here. State governing costs... Which produced we get as well. Very nice. Uh, we will put... Uh, no, take some prestige. Prestige, by the way, also reduces your aggressive expansion impact. So uh, if you are about to take a lot of land and you are worried about coalitions, make sure your prestige is nice and high. And then you will uh, miss out on some aggressive expansion. Let's catch them there. They're running. Fools. Cannot run from me. Let's go in on Rome. 
uh, excuse you. Let's go kill him real quick and then run back. Are you willing to give up yet, Bologna? Yes. Good. Beautiful. I need some nice little stuck wipe. Oh no. Could have seen that coming. Okay, let's go back. Could wait a couple months for thingamajigs. Uh, reinforcements, I mean, of course. Time to humiliate you. And you're going to pay me more reps. And you're going to give me a bunch of money. That's good. Uh, we should be pretty close to naval superiority. Well, we're not there yet. We are not there yet. Illyria joined the Punic League as well. Everyone be joining the Punic League. I'm going to have to fight the entire fucking uh, Italian League. Am I not? Look at this. I'll just have Nekarot go. Oh, goal though. Oravia and Punicum. Gaul, MVP. Okay, we're, we're just gonna turn on defensive edict here and just let them sit there. Um, Rome has seven galleys here. Yeah, it's kind of shit now that my uh, fleet is split up. Maybe I'll just keep building more galleys here and just go over force limit. How about that? How about that, bro? Let's make fucking 12 galleys here and they'll just smash you. Okay, that's the Siege of Rome done. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, Rome. Such a funny little guy. And these are vassals of Rome? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Good, that's a fully occupied Rome. Let's go occupy um, this Malaysian place. And then what else? Cap Capitana? Oh no. Aternum. Uh, let's just peace out Rome though. Let's move. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, fine. We'll peace out Rome. We'll uh, get some war reps. Uh, why can I not humiliate you? You're not my fucking rival. How much money can I get? Not even that much. Ah, this is some bullshit. It's not really much good I can get. Okay, fine. It's fine. I'll just take money and war reps. And I will annul all your treaties with everyone. For prestige. Okay, good. Um, and now I will go in. Yeah, now I got black flag. That's annoying. I guess I go here. And then I just go there. I can't. Okay, then I go there. They shouldn't be able to kill me anyway over here. Rome is the Aberim again. Oh, I'm gonna start getting separatists soon as well. Oh. Speak of the devil. Uh, let's actually let my allies get rid of them. So I don't waste my own manpower. And let's see here. Let's take... Combat bonus and terrain of capital, which is farmlands. We'll do fort maintenance. Sure. Hey, next month we can take this one. Then we get 15% uh, siege ability. That will be useful. So now these takes take 37 days. Badoosh. Now we have 15% siege ability and now they take 32 days. Very nice. And that we are going to stack a lot in this game. Hey, we won. Uh, let's go kill them. Sure, I'll pay war exhaustion down. That's fine. You. Give me money. And trade and everything. Okay, now there's even less enemy boats. So now they only have seven galleys. So that means we're going for it. Yep, we're killing them. Hell yeah, get back there. Now we're gonna go in and siege. That's their army gone. You can I hear me out, vassalize you. 
coalition yes okay but is it really that bad I mean, some of these guys will try to join but they can't really because I will have truces with them for the foreseeable future I guess I'll just wait until uh, this siege is complete at least but I would like to vassalize him because then I can get the strong duchies thing and then uh, I will actually no longer be over me my relations limit even though I get an extra relation bit paradoxical getting about three ducats in war reps every month so far more money and let's get that's force religion Whoa. and war reps okay good we now have another Romana on the map very nice. That's the Siege of Serenza done. Let's take out their fleet. What remains of it? Very good. Okay, we'll vassalize you. Uh, we will take all your money. There we go. And that's it for that war. That means we have now defeated Serenza. Uh, which means we can give them a bunch of death. But we don't want to do that. Because then they'll just be more expensive to integrate. So we'll wait with clicking that until after we integrate them. For now, let's go to our estates and click Strong Duchies. Now we have six out of six thingies. And this guy should be almost loyal already. Uh, let me pay off their debts of 21. And then just one month of improving relations should do it. Now that this war was over, I had a truce with Rome until 1499, as well as a significant coalition. I spent 11 years building every single building I could, deving and drilling my armies in preparation for the coming League War. And let me tell you, it was quite a war. Alright guys, we have arrived in April of 1499, which means our truce with Rome is now officially over. Uh, that means we are about to kickstart the League War. Now, over the past, uh, well, 10-ish years, a bit less, I have been building up the country uh, significantly. So, I have built every single workshop. I have built every single church. I have built every single barracks except the one here in Ivrea, and I'm working on that. I just need to dev it up a bit more for um, the building slot. Then, uh, we are now up to a force limit of 48. I actually need to build one more cannon here. We have a lot of ducats. We have 55,000 manpower in the bank. Uh, that's above my maximum, which I achieved by pressing these buttons just uh, a minute ago. Um, but the only thing I don't have is Miltac 8. And we have another disadvantage, which is that, uh, well, let's look at the leagues. There are a few more countries in the Punic League than we have in our Romana League. And most notably, we have uh, Suebi joining the enemy, as well as Macedonia. Now, in particular, Macedonia is, of course, a huge problem. Um, we don't have Miltech 8, Macedonia does, but what we do have is uh, completed offensive ideas, including this policy, which gives us extra movement speed and artillery levels against forts. Um, yeah, if I look at army quality comparison, well, let's look at that once I declare the war. Um, so yeah, let's just wait for this artillery to complete. Uh, in the meantime, I'll try to dev a little. Ooh, we gain a bunch of dev everywhere for money. I will definitely take that. Might increase our force limit again. But yeah, mil uh, we don't have Miltech 8 yet. We're working on it. It will be here uh, very soon. We're generating an awful lot of, uh military mana i don't want autonomy any oh that's even worse okay fine uh, maybe i can just reduce that immediately oh yeah i can reduce there and there very nice we have also been drilling so we're uh, up to almost 40 percent army professionalism so manpower for us is going to be good this war but yeah it's going to be one hell of a war now, let's see religious league we do have Gaul on our side, so the numbers are actually not that scuffed. I think we can definitely win, but it's going to be a challenge. And it's a challenge that I will gladly embark upon. This is a new religion. There's also a new religion that spawned in Egypt. Very nice. 
Are we ready for this religious league war? I can also call in Lombardia. And I can call in Osholm. Okay. I think we're ready. So, uh, let's go. Uh, let's also keep deving this province while we can. Uh, we, I have fantastic generals as well. 3-6. I got a nice event that gives me uh, gave me like 20 army traditions. So we're at 62 now. We were a bit higher even before. Let's go uh, wipe these armies as quick as we can. That's one wipe. Two wipe. Uh, this is our sieging army. He has three siege as well. Really good general. 3-6-3-3. Three, three, three. So we'll just wait for that to complete. Um, in the meantime, we'll go kill Rome's army over here. Oh, I forgot my trade boats. Ah, well. I don't think we have any chance on the navy front anyway, so... Yeah, they're, they're gone. It's fine. Good. We do have Gaul on our side, as well as Saxony. So it's actually pretty good looking. Uh, my goal is first to uh, control it Italy. Uh, then I will go to Suebi and try to get them out. And then finally Macedonia. Uh, we can click this now. Which uh, gives us war exhaustion stuff and some other stuff. We can go kill him there again. Oh, they're running. Got them on half morale. Good. All right, that's one siege down. Let's go get the next one. Parma is basically out. Uh, if they pay me and force religion and war reps, then they can get out. Because after this, and when we win, which will obviously happen, um, <laughs> the, um, we will be emperor of the Italian Federation. So we want everyone to be our religion so we can push through all the reforms. Uh, let's get an Admiral. Not bad. Oh, that's way more boats than I thought there were. Okay, run, 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 run. I mean, we do have more galleys, technically. And we just killed one of theirs. There's 23 transports right there. Most of our land is still completely prosperous. Very nice. Okay, that's the Siege of Lucca. Um, who is next? Yeah, let's go into Rome. We'll attack them here on the grasslands. Follow with the other army. Wow, that's a big wipe. Uh, we will then attack them here on the grasslands. And follow with the other army. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, I guess we'll siege that first. I should build more galleys. Go up to 20. Why is he red? Ostracized. Don't know what that means. And they're gonna try to get Luca back, but I'll probably out siege them with all my offensive ideas and everything. Oh, come on, guys. Are we gonna finish this siege? Yes, thank you. Okay, let's move it there. All of us. We're gonna go in here. We have a lot thrown against us here. Let's go in with the other guy. And we won. Uh, one of these guys now has shock damage received minus 10%. That's really good. Let's go back over there. Oh. I mean over there. Good. White. I'll go stand over there, and with these guys, we'll siege on the hill. Shouldn't take very long. These guys are a bit annoying, so they're weld, so I kind of want them out soon. Parma's pretty close to wanting out, and their ruler is a fierce negotiator, so maybe some of these others I could already get out. Yep. So that's Luca gone. Oh, not yet. Almost. They do have to accept my war reps, of course. These I want this province from. I uh, also want force religion and war reps. 
Uh, transfer trade power, actually. All of them. Ooh. Let's get ready to help if necessary. That looks like Gaul has it all under control. What idea group did they go? Aristocratic. Eee. And they have 10% of armies from their Gallic legacy. Uh, let's take this one. Very nice. And also, let's get our other cannon to the front line. On this fort. Doesn't help for the siege yet. But we can now build regimental camps. And we don't have a lot of building space left. I, I say that, but actually it looks like we have quite a lot. So, let's start building those. And then once that's finished, we'll probably add some cavalry to this army. And some cannons to this army. And then it will be glorious. And let's move in here. Oh, that was a bit too quick. But it's all good. Start that siege as well. Oh. That better be a wipe. Yeah. Ooh, look at this goal army. Huge. Okay, that's one siege down. Let's get over there. Retreat there. Let's go occupy this province. We are almost at Rome. Let's go to give this another shot. No, oh, they do have numbers now. Okay, let's retreat as soon as we can. Again, we killed the galley. <laughs> we have won the siege of Nursia. Very good. Alright, seizing down Rome. Walls breached immediately. A new dawn for Majapahit. Against all odds, Majapahit has emerged from decades of turmoil. Nice. That's, uh, I don't know if it's the mod that does that. I feel like Asia is relatively untouched, but uh, they rarely achieve that in vanilla. Goal. Starting to lose a little bit. What's the war goal again in the league? Uh, no way we're going to see that anymore. Show superiority. Okay. Okay, we have won the Siege of Rome. Let's go show our superiority over here. Boom. Corfu will cede Corfu to Illyria. Uh -oh. Looks like or Ostrom is also probably gonna go out of the war soon. You probably just wanna pay me some money, don't you? No, I'm going to do that, so I'll get you out. Don't want our allies getting distracted up there. Okay, let's wait until the end of the month and we'll go in here. Fine like that. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Are our regimental camps finished? Yes, we can build 10,000 more men. So we need four cavalry. And I guess when we build six artillery. Good. But maybe we shouldn't because we are low on manpower and I don't really think we need that many more troops. Maybe we just build like three cannons. That should be fine. No one has even touched my lands yet. Look at how devastated Rome is. But uh, we still have uh, Macedonia and Suebi here to contend with. So let's not uh, jump for joy gleefully into the air too soon. Oh, you accept. But I also want your trade power. You realize that, right? Especially from you. Actually, from Parma, I don't really care. Let's start piecing out. Parma. Don't need your trade power. That's fine. Same for Montferrat. Don't need your trade power. You have zero troops anyway. You, do you still have troops? No. Do I need your trade power? Not really. So that's fine. I did get your province though. Um, let's immediately turn that into a core. Oh no, our army reformer died. Do we go siege ability? 
Nah, we fired these guys. We need something better. Nah, these are even worse. Especially attrition. <laughs> Not that it's bad, it's just there's no one in our lands. Let's see the numbers now. I think we now outnumber them. Yep. Well, not at sea, though. Yeah. The Jewish kingdom has been destroyed. No and no. It's nice that there are more types of advisors, but now it's even more annoying to roll for a specific one. Morale of armies will take you. And I'll upgrade you. We're getting pretty close to Miltech 9 here. That would be extremely powerful. Here's our three new cannons. Who wants peace? Urbino wants peace. Ah, yeah, Urbino. But I did... Ah, I don't need your trade power either. Okay, that's fine. So, force religion. War reps. Money. Good. You. Force religion. Religion. Oh, you won't even accept that, will you? Ongoing battles, okay. They still have an army, maybe that's why. Also, they have been quite recently uh, occupied. This is a mountain fight that's a bit nasty. Uh, so is that, but let's go in anyway. Go in. And we'll go back there. Uh, wait here. You go join the others. Romans with cannons, baby. Unstoppable. Abruzzum. Where are you even? Right there. Okay. Money. Force religion. War reps. Thank you. Oh, you are free. Um, so let's go in here. Good. You out of there. Getting pretty close to occupying all of Italy. We won't be able to get to Sicily or Sardinia. Hey, look, you want to give me your trade power yet? No. Same for Pisa, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, I'll start a golden era. Just for fun. I'll allow the transfer subject gases belly or treaty or whatever. We are getting very low on manpower. So let's um, slacken. That's fine. Do that for a couple years. And we gain 1300 every month. That's quite a lot. Of course, I'm not paying attention to attrition at all. But it's fine. Hey, Molissim. You want to be... Mm, and you, look, you want to get your religion enforced. Okay, fine. Let's look at the religious map mode. Should be a lot more... Yeah, a lot more my color. Morale of armies! Oh la 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 la. Let's see how much morale we have now. 5.2 morale in 1504. We are unstoppable. Let's try another naval battle. Oh my god. Hey. We'll pay. We killed four galleys. <laughs> hey, where did... Uh, did we lose two? Oh, apparently we lost two. Hey, the Age of Reformation. That means we lost our uh, stuff. Well, we've definitely converted another nation. Italian Resolve, minus 20% shock damage received. Oh my god. Italy is OP as fuck. Italia. Okay, let's go in with the, the swipey stack. The boom stack. Good, another stack wipe. Uh, let's switch these around. Minus 71, we go to minus 21 crazy. We can take this now, but uh, I'll wait until it gets cheaper. Okay, we've won that siege. And let's send you there. Send you there. Oh, we can't? Okay, well, let's send you there. 
instant 28% chance. And use some government interaction. Ooh, let's get some more manpower for sure. Yeehaw. And this one, more, even less aggressive expansion. Let's look at the aggressive expansion. It's very low. We're going to take a lot of land of Rome. Perhaps we can even take Rome itself. That's only 37% war score, and that will barely get me a coalition. How about that? That will get me a coalition, right? But these are all countries I'm all going to have truces with. You know? It doesn't even matter. Does not even matter. I can just fully annex Rome. That would be a statement, wouldn't it? And I need to force your religion. And you need war reps. Yeah. Good. Get out of here. Luca, will you accept yet? Ah, thank you so much. How about you, Pisa? I kind of want you. That's a lot of AE for one little province, though. Force religion, war reps, transfer trade power, all your money. Yes? We okay? Good. Let's go here. Good. And let's go like so and like so. Okay, we won the Siege of Salent. You go there. And you go there. Okay, I think we only need our sieging army down here now. Because we are not getting on that island anyway. So let's go help out against Suebi. Hey, Nova Moria. I would like to enforce your religion. Get your war reps and all your money. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, let's go free Rome. Get you guys. Force religion. War reps. This and trade power. Right? Okay, good. Then Salerno. Force religion. War reps. Trade power. Money. Thank you. Then. Naples. Sue for peace. Force religion. War reps. Transfer trade power. Money. Oh man, so satisfying. All of this stuff. Okay, that's the Sardinian army. They're running over here. And now they're gone. Sardinia, would you like a white piece? I cannot get to you. Well, maybe once I piece all of these guys out. They only have 69 galleys left. I think I'm going to keep building galleys forever now. Let's just build a whole lot of galleys. Now we... Okay, now we go here. We free our uh, PU land. WhatsApp noises are not allowed in this video. Well, Rome is not uh, feeling this war anymore. They are at 17 more exhaustion. I killed an army somewhere. Ah, oh, that was over here. Yeah. Let's go get their land back. I think at this point I do want to build some extra cannons for my other army. Um, yeah, so let's build eight cannons. Um, we can get all techs. So let's get all techs. Good. Uh, now we just need to pick a good moment, probably after these two sieges complete. To go ahead and switch unit types. A A A A A A Macedonia. What are you doing? Well, they're fighting some Roman peasants, first of all. Okay, that's one siege done. Let's go back home. Get all these eight guys over in one tile to keep them safe. And then send them here. I don't think I need another army to get rid of these guys, so. Oh, well, we can have one, though, so let's meet up in Genoa. Yeah, 
This is just slaughtery. Slaughter. You. Go. Siege. Where is your capital, Swabby? It's all the way over here. Can I just walk straight there? Yeah, good. Oh, let's switch unit types now. Right before the end of the month. We'll move these back up north. Have them wait here for a second. Okay. Uh, we'll go Landsknecht. There we go. Hey, Ostholm is out. That's sad. They were one of our bigger allies. Although right now they only have uh, 6k left. Okay, let's march straight for the Swabby capital. Uh, it looks like a Northern Vic had the same idea. So that's good. And with our other army... We will go siege down Illyria. And once those two are out... Uh, Swabby and uh, Macedonia, maybe Illyria as well. It's uh, over. Yeah, Queen Isabel, everyone. Don't mess with her. They're trying to free Rome again. You know what? Macedonia, what the hell are you doing here? I'm gonna come wipe you. Look at this difference. 5.2. 3.9. Okay, I didn't wipe you. But I did definitely damage you. Oh. You're coming to get killed? How kind. Can't see who you are, but you are Illyria. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't need to go to Italy myself, it looks like. Let's go get Dardania. Uh, 20 army tradition. Oh my god, ridiculous. That uh, brings our morale up to 5.3 again. Who do all these galleys belong to? Macedonia and Sardinia, mostly. Sardinia, do you want a white piece? Not yet, but we're getting there. Okay, that's the Siege of Lisbar. <laughs> Let's go to Siege down uh, Volkart as well. Okay, that's Dardania. Go get the Illyrian capital. Ooh, poor little regiment. You will become my religion. Give me all the stuff. Oh my god! I will reform both in this case. Another 10% morale. Could have been 20. 5.7 morale. Call for peace. The hell do you think you are? What's our army tradition at? 99.6. Let's uh, fire this guy. I'm thinking we're going to get someone better. Yeah. Let's uh, split this army up for a second. Go siege down one province. 99.6 tradition plus full offensive ideas, guys. Our generals are mental. What is the Macedonian capital? Oh, it is this. Oh, I didn't see the little crown there. Won the siege of Spalatos. Hmm. You will just do all of that. That should be good. There's Macedonia. Ah, uh, yes. Innovativeness. Okay, let's go siege down some Macedonian forts. And go for their capital as well. That's the siege of Volkart. No, Swabby. Uh, I want land from you, for sure. I'm gonna take your coast here. And all your money. And you're gonna give me war rights. Okay, you can give me slightly less money. Okay, that's good. So now we have a little uh, forward operating base here in uh, Iberia. That should be very, very, very good. In Macedonia, do you just want out? Uh, we'll go, keep going a little bit. Okay, where are our enemies? Just in the east now. Uh, let's go make sure we get the Roman provinces back. I am willing to take a fight here. Okay, not with that admiral though. 
Yeah, that will have to do. Good. Okay, we lost one ship. But we killed six. We left Suebi in total shambles. Five troop, five thousand troops left and zero manpower. Okay, so in the total league war, what we want is religious supremacy and Rome. We could already take that. That's pretty good, huh? Rome has unconditionally surrendered. <laughs> Just need to do one more little thing, Rome. One more little thing. Good. Finally combined the fleet normally. Jesus. Hey, that's not nice. Nah, that's an interesting uh, thing that happened here. So, Punicum is uh, the same country that these separatists are from. Uh, Serenza here thinks, oh, my ally is there, so I don't have to worry about the rebels. But they do. Interesting little AI quirk. Oh, yeah. Uh, since the war is definitely going to end in the next five years. I'm thinking we press this mission now, and then we get province war score cost for 5 years minus 20%. We also gain 80 devastation in Rome and a bunch of ducats. And there's the siege of Macedonia. Perfect. Uh, you are also going to pay us war reps Macedonia. And you're going to give us a hell of a lot of money. Um, yeah, let's take all of that. So that is... Romana becomes the official faith of the Italian Federation. I take almost all of their land. And I make them pay me even more ducats. A total of 72.7 prestige will be divided between Italia and its allies. I gain 26.9, but I don't even have room for it anymore. So. You do not have enough war score to demand this. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, 102 ducats. Let's do it symbolically, right? On the 15th of March, the Idus of March, the day Julius Caesar was murdered. Uh, in like, what was it, 58 BC or something? It's also my birthday in real life. Um, yeah, let's go. The electors have elected Vespasian of Theogonia as new... What? Really? You must be joking, right? Unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna vote for myself from now on, if you don't mind. I, oh, I'm a woman! My ruler is a woman. That's why. That sucks. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so we need to do a pragmatic sanction. But for that we need to be... Uh, we need to have a female heir. We can't be the female ourselves. Okay, so I guess we'll become emperor later. Wow, what the fuck though? That's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end it here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that, especially the end. It's probably a quite a long video. I don't know how I'm gonna edit it yet. But yeah, if you want to see more, if you want to see me play another country in this mod, do let me know. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to all the YouTube stuff. Uh, it would really help me out. Uh, thank you to Chewy for making this mod. Really good work, mate. Uh, yeah, you, you did a fantastic job with that. Uh, Italia is a bit OP, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that being said, cheerio. Peace out.